Hi, this is Gary Hughes with Gangsta Dog, and this right here, this is Bruiser. That's Bruiser, okay? And if you, if you, you'll notice that this guy right here, okay, this is that guy right there, okay? He is the logo of the company. This is one of our Gangsta Dog dog biscuits, okay? And the dogs go absolutely nuts over these. And I, I've got to tell you guys a little bit about the story and how we came up with who we are and everything. But anyway, so about a little over seven years ago, we got this guy, little pup. And he was supposed to be a Norwich Terrier. And as he grew a little bit, when he got to around 18 pounds, he looked nothing like a Norwich Terrier. And so we had his DNA done. If you go to our website, gangstadog.com, and look at About Us, you can see his DNA. And he was just a mixed breed dog that a breeder had cut the tail off of and sold as a purebred. But he's a great looking dog. Isn't he a great looking dog? Well, anyway, so everybody was coming up to us saying, this is such a cool dog. And you know, what kind of a dog is he? Well, instead of saying he was a mutt, I would say, He's a gangsta dog, all right? And so, uh, but this went on for a while. My wife and I, we were out to dinner and, and having a martini and or martinis. And, uh, you know, we were talking. I said, we got such a cool dog. We should do something fun with him. And my wife, you know, we, we talked about it for a while, started looking up names online to see what we could call it. And uh, my wife, she says, you know, you call him a gangsta dog all the time. What about that? And I checked gangstadog.com and it was available. So it was, and so I bought it right there on the spot, and, and .co, .net, .org, all of them. And, um, and then I went to the Secretary of State website and registered Gangsta Dog as an LLC. So we had a company all around this guy, okay? But we didn't have a product. We didn't know what we were gonna do. And about two weeks goes by, my wife and my daughter were supposed to go to a Christmas cookie decorating class. And the, uh, at the last minute, my daughter calls and says she, she couldn't go. And, so my wife says, you know, I've already paid for the class. Do, do you want to go? And I said, well, why not? I have nothing else to do today. So I go to this Christmas cookie decorating class. 30 women and me all in this class. And I've got to say, I dominated. I just ran all over everybody. I made cookies like I'd been making cookies my whole life. Okay? It was it was so much fun. I got home and I, 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 I looked up a recipe to be able to make gingerbread men from scratch. So I made a batch of gingerbread men. And then once they cooled, I started icing those and I decorated them to make them look like Christmas or uh, like, like uh, motorcyclists. And when I was done, I told my wife, I said, that was a ball. And she says, you know, that's what you should do at Gangsta Dog. You should make dog biscuits. And I said, well, that's a great idea. So she and I started working on recipes. She started doing research on, on, the uh, what ingredients were dogs safe and how to be able to keep them all natural and gourmet biscuits for dogs and because we love our dogs we have four and anyway so we started working on these biscuits and we decided we we're going to use his face as the logo of the company you can see that you know that's him that's that that's him okay so we used his face as the logo of the company we hired an artist to be able to do the logo it took the artist a year to get everything right and so while the artist was working on it we were baking dog biscuits if you had a dog on Facebook, I friended you and offered to send you free dog biscuits. So for a year, while the, the artwork was being done, we sent free dog biscuits all over the country. And if one dog didn't like one dog biscuit, we would redo the recipe and send it back to them and say, well, what about now? And if two or more dogs didn't like the recipe, we would just do away with it until we had bulletproof recipes. We've got about 50 different cookies that we bake. We bake a thousand dog biscuits a day right now. And it's just me and my wife. Usually it's just me. I can turn out a thousand dog biscuits a day just in this little store right here. Um, and it's growing like crazy. So we went from having dog biscuits to having soft treats. Uh, we have our own line of soft treats. We have uh, dog food. We have dog sprinkles that we've created. We've got all types of products that's just designed to be able to make dogs absolutely as happy as they possibly can be. And the dog biscuits, the dogs absolutely love, every, I mean, look at the attention this guy's got on this dog biscuit. Our dog biscuits are the best dog biscuits there are in the world uh, because no one has put the type of work into creating a product like we have and, and has made sure that the quality is above and beyond what anybody else can put out. So anyway, that's us, we're Gangsta Dog. Go to gangstadog.com. Find out more about us. Uh, you can contact us by phone, email on there. Um, you can find the address to our store. If you wanted to come to the store, you can order online. But we we really do have the coolest stuff there that you can possibly get for dogs. And we are growing rapidly uh, day by day. And so anyway, we would love to, to help you out and introduce you to what we do. And if you come to the store, you can even meet this guy.
because he comes to work with me. Obviously, he's here. And so, but who knows? Who knows where we'll be in a year? We're looking to open a second store and um, then next year, two or more and more. So we'll see what's happening, but that's us. I'm Gary, this is Bruiser, and this is Gangsta Dog. Thanks for watching.